Superb and sublime recipe for tortelloni and the meatballs and a garbanzo el magnifico. Yay! <laughs> Tortelloni's my favorite. Hmm. Where'd I put my tortellonis? Um. Oh. So for this recipe, you will need blue tortellonis and lots and lots of yummy, yummy cheese. Oh. And now to your frying pan, add a leg. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I meant an egg. <laughs> One egg, please. Thanks. When the sauce is ready, just throw in the tortellonis. This is fun. Yes, hello. Go frat, my little cousin. You must absolutely bring me all the blue tortellonis I gave you last week. The first tortelloni contest of Zanimo is tomorrow, and I've got another left. None. Consider it done. If you didn't exist, I'd have to invent you. Mwah! Oh no, the blue tortellonis. I've eaten them all. I didn't want to eat them, Red. They threw themselves into my mouth. Oh, what am I gonna do? I know! I gave some of them to Fudge! Nuts. Fudge, I need your help. <laughs> you look like a big cheese souffle. <laughs> this is a real chef's hat. Can you come with me? We've got something important to do. I can't go, Fred. Not right now. In a minute, I have an appointment with Ellie. She's going to fix my ears. What if I help you right after my appointment? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. And now for the final touch. A light breeze to fluff the hair. Beautiful. Marvelous. Breathtaking. Don't worry, Gofrat. Ellie said it wouldn't take long. So what's your big problem? We have to get the blue tortellonis I gave you. I ate all of mine and Garbanzo's entering a contest and he... Fudge, you're up next. Coming. Sorry, Gofrat. Don't move. I'll be back in a few minutes. <sighs> Snake charming technique, excellent for stubborn hair and ears like yours. See, it's already working. Is this what you do to everyone? Oh, you're such a worry wart. Relax. Hello, little darlings. Everything's going to be all right. I'm taming them, talking to them. You should be doing the same every night. You see, you aren't paying enough attention to their basic needs. Fudge! You finished yet? I'm coming! So, how do I look? Uh, great, Fudge. But you kind of look like Mrs. Mr. Moose now. Hmm, well, orange isn't my favorite color, but at least my ears are behaving. It's such a pretty color, so bright and happy. Okay, now can we go and get the tortellonis I gave you? The tortellonis? Oh, I sent them to my aunt, the one that works in a restaurant. Oh, no. Garbanzo's contest is tomorrow. I told him I'd bring him some. Well, we'll just have to buy some then. But you don't understand. They were blue. An extraordinary blue. Extraordinary? How? Do you mean exceptional, unbelievable? 
No problem. Let's go to the very general store. They sell everything. Good little ears. They're being so good. Fudge, you absolutely must pose for my catalog. No more ear touching. Good morning, Hamlet. To buy or not to buy, that is the question. Make up your minds or get out. That is my answer. We're looking for some blue tortellonis. Tortellonis? I've got them in tomato red, orange orange, too much sun yellow, spring roll green, bursting purple, and you want blue ones. Well, I don't carry blue ones. Never have, never will. No blue tortellonis, no contest for garbanzo. Not so fast. I've got an idea. It's no ordinary color. I would even go as far as saying it's extraordinary. Uh, come and see me one of these days. Your ears are a little pale. Don't come up till I tell you. Okay, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Yeah, you're all blue. I was eating some blueberries. With this fantastic potion, we are going to make you the most beautiful blue tortelloni ever. Zowie! They're all changing color. But there aren't any blue ones. Uh oh. Garbanzo will be upset. Hey, look! The white tortellonis are turning blue from the juice from the blueberries. Blueberry syrup! You've saved the day, Gofret! Now, quick, put them in with my blueberry syrup. Yay, we've done it! Thanks, Ellie. You're the best. Oh, right, we did it! Can't wait for my ears to hit the pillow. Yes, just one. One little one. No, you can't have only one, Gofret, remember? Okay. They're a marvelous blue, aren't they, Red? But I wonder what they taste like. Oh, all right, you win. Anyway, I'm tired. Good night, Red. Just a nightmare. Good night again, Houdini. And long ears. I'm ready. Morning, Fudge. Good morning, Gofret. Sleep tight? Like a hog. Uh, no, I mean like a tail. I mean like a log. Sally, his ears turn pink. Huh? The Tortellonis! I knew I could count on you, my fantastic cousin. You've made it just in time for the contest. Your hat is magnifico. Oh, my. Those are not just ears that you have, my friend, but phantasmagoric <laughs> wild flowers. Everyone, it's showtime! Time to prepare Garbanzo's famous tortellonis and meatballs. The judges will be here soon. We must hurry. <laughs> Ta-da! That's what we call high-flying meatballs. Greta, are you ready? Of course. They look incredible, unique, and distinguished. You know the tortellonis? They're a bit different and... No, 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 don't you worry. They are perfecto. Let's go, 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 go! The judges will be here in minutes. Oh. Well, I hope the judges like the tortellonis. It's 
fruity. Fruity? Yes, it's tutti fruity. Tutti fruity? But how? Tutti fruity. Blueberry? Oh, no. I hope the blueberry juice hasn't ruined Garbanzo's tortellonis. Blueberry? I must taste. Oh, oh it is fruity. Tutti fruity? Blueberry? That's what I was trying to tell you. I ate all the blue tortellonis that you gave me, and then we started over, but... My cousin, it's a pure delight. Delicioso. It adds something magnifico to my recipe. My cousin Gofret, he is my co-creator on this marveloso dish. Congratulations, Garbanzo El Magnifico! Voila! Bravo! Garbanzo El Magnifico! It was Tutti Fruity Fabuloso! Once more, you have outdone yourself, you and Gofret. Congratulations, my little cousin. Your blueberry surprise was... Uh... Superb! And now, will you give me your recipe? Oui! <laughs>